Today we're going to be talking about how to find the area and perimeter of irregular shapes. We know how to find the area and perimeter of rectangles and squares, but how do we find the area and perimeter of a shape like this? Well, it's not as difficult as it might look. Let's start with the perimeter. To get the perimeter, we do the same thing that we do for a rectangle or a square. We just add up all the sides. The difference is that instead of four sides, we have more. Six plus four plus two plus three plus four plus seven gives us 26 centimeters. Don't forget the label. To get the area, all we need to do is divide this shape into smaller shapes whose area you can find. For this shape, the easiest way to do it would be to divide it into two rectangles. Now I've crossed out the 7 and the 2 because those measurements don't apply to the two rectangles that I've created. The top rectangle has a length of 6 and a width of 4. And the bottom rectangle has a length of 4 and a width of 3. To get the area for these two rectangles, all we need to do is multiply length times width. For the top rectangle, that's 6 times 4 is 24 square centimeters. And for the bottom rectangle, that'll be 4 times 3 is 12 square centimeters. But we're not finished yet because we need to find the area of the whole shape. To do that, we need to add up our two smaller rectangles. So 24 square centimeters plus 12 equals 36 square centimeters. Sometimes you won't be able to divide the shape into two rectangles. You might have to divide it into three or four. That's okay. Just get the total area for each smaller rectangle and add them all up. That's it.